Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I want to show you our L16 Crank Up Trust Stand. Kettner Creative is an audio visual company based out of Vancouver, BC. We film videos like this all the time. So if you're interested in other product demos, lighting stuff, rigging stuff, or just the event industry as a whole, please like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this in the future. The L16 Trust Crank Up Stand is super common in Vancouver. In Vancouver, these things are super ubiquitous. Almost every company has them, and they're super easy to use, super safe, super reliable. I'm going to show you why we like them and how to use them properly. So these Trust Crank Up Stands, they do have a capacity of about 500 pounds each, of exactly 500 pounds each. So keep in mind that if you're using two of these with your truss, these need to be rated for the weight, your truss needs to be rated for the weight, and please don't forget to calculate the weight of your cable. People like to just think about how heavy their fixtures are, whatever they're hanging. The cable is also very, very heavy, so please don't forget that. Uh, these, just looking at it here, there's two different sections that telescope out of the main section, so you crank it up. Uh, there's all the pins and hardware are stored on it and there is no latch. It's all built, the braking is all built into the mechanism itself. So to get started, we need to put the feet down and level it. So you won't be able to see it in the camera, but how you level it is just by unscrewing these feet here. Uh, but generally, we use these indoor only. I don't think they're rated for outdoor. I, I probably have to double check. Um, but yeah, we just use these indoor only. So to lower the leg, you pull the pin, you push the leg down, and then you put the pin back in to lock it into place. So you do that three more times for all the legs. Okay, all the legs are down, super easy. You drop them, you put the pin back in, and you're good to go. Give it a shake, make sure it's level. You can put a level up against it, double check it's level on both sides, and then you're ready to go. So your next decision is, what adapter do you want at the top? They make a 12 inch fixed adapter, but we went with, we have two options for this. We have these adjustable truss antlers, or we have this T-bar. It'll take anything that's an inch and an eighth, so one and one eighth inches, it'll receive anything that's kind of industry standard. But for us, we use these adjustable truss antlers. So you set the spacing, they'll go out to, and they'll hold up to 16 inch truss. Just do please remember if you're using 12 inch truss or something smaller than 16, that you need to keep your truss centered over the, you can't have your, your truss like that. That's not gonna be a safe option for you. So you want both in the mid middle and centered. And you drop it in like that. There's a locking or a tightening nut at the back. And then you take these bolts out. Try to drop as many as you can. You put the truss in, and then this bolt goes back in above the truss to secure it to the antler. Make sure it doesn't lift out. Obviously, gravity is your friend. It's going to be pulling the truss down. It's just something to keep in mind. The biggest thing when you're operating the L16 is make sure that the steel cable goes side to side fluently. You don't want it getting all crossed up like a garden hose in a reel or something like that. You want it working slowly side to side. So you, you can guide it with your hand just to get it started. Now th there is built in braking. So once we get up, so as you get to the top, the top section will telescope first. It goes much higher than this before it pulls out the second section. But then you'll take a pin from the side here and put it in. Okay, and then you keep going. So, actually, just do it all the way. Okay, so right there, we see that the second section is starting to move. So you need to pin the top section and I'll show you why in a bit. Now we keep cranking. All right, so there we maxed out. It slows down at the end. So you put the pin there. Now the most important part about this whole process is that 
Right now, all the load of the entire system is on this aircraft cable, and that's not what you want. Okay, that's why we put the pins in. So once you're set up, once you've done the lifting, the cable is for lifting only. Then you back it up, and you see it here. This section is now resting on the pin, and up top as well, it's resting on the pin. And then I leave it like this. I leave about an inch of slack. You can see that we've done that on those ones as well. I don't completely undo it or anything like that. If any of these pins fail, which they're not supposed to, I still want this wire to catch it, so I want it close. I just don't want this wire holding the load of the system. The load is supposed to be resting on the pins. But then after that, to take this thing down, we lift it up, take the first pin out, and then we lower it down. And that's it. So this thing, each stand will take 500 pounds, so if you have a piece of horizontal truss, uh, you can do a thousand pounds as long as you're lifting at level. Anybody that's taken a rigging course before knows that if there's any rake in the truss, that throws the math way off. It's also worth noting um, that dealing with truss is a, when you're lifting truss, it's a three person job. So you need one person on each stand and you need a spotter that can kind of make sure that it's going up level. Anytime I've seen anybody do it with less than three people, it, the truss has come down, they're missing something. So just have that spotter out there. Their only job is to make sure there's not people moving around it and that nobody's standing under it and that it's going up and down in a level way. Raising and lowering truss is a three person job with this system. One per tower and one spotter. Now, you'll see here, because there's no load on the truss, I kind of have to pull down. If you have truss or any type of load, more than 15 pounds, you don't have to do this. But just be aware if you're setting this up in the shop, demoing one of yours, that you do need a little bit of weight just to help bring it down. Perfect, and that's it. In terms of one thing that I wish that this had, is I wish that when it was collapsed, there was a way to pin it to lock it in position. When you roll these around, uh, this can still lift up. So it's worth knowing that if you're rolling this into a truck, don't hold any of these moving pieces because they do move. There's no way to pin them or secure them. Uh, we haven't found a clever solution. We're gonna get some cases built that are like long flight cases and then it'll just hold two of them. That's kind of our solution. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get a case built for these that holds two of them, and then that will be our truss dolly as well, so we'll be able to uh, strap truss to the top of that system. I think that's about as good as we're gonna get in terms of making this safe to transport. If you have any questions about the L16, please uh, leave a comment in the comment section below, and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.